I found Twitter very fascinating as a kind of grassroots, um, egalitarian response to the complexity of life, especially in America. Uh, people who are on Twitter sometimes send photographs and videos, and they could be all different parts of the country. And it's, it sort of breaks up this monolith of the media. Media tends to be owned by very wealthy people. So we, we have a, a, what we call a mainstream media in the United States, and it could be like 20 different outlets, newspapers and television networks and so forth. But then in contrast to that, the social media, particularly Twitter, there are all these individual people who are posting pictures and so forth. And they are the people who brought a, a whole lot of police brutality to the attention of the world. George Floyd, for instance, uh, the, the terrible death of George Floyd is eight minutes. That's a video recording on someone's cell phone. I think the girl's like a 15-year-old black girl. She's holding up her cell phone, and we saw something that nobody else was going to show us. Like, the New York Times didn't have anybody there, and the New York Times wasn't going to write about that. George Floyd would have been just one more statistic. They would have said a black man resisted arrest and fought, and, he, and we had to use force against him, and he died, you know. It would have been just like a little line. But because of the, something like Twitter, she's able to amplify that so it goes all around the world and gets viral. So I think that's one of the wonderful things about social media and about the Internet, that a the average unknown person can be like a reporter and like a journalist. I think that's wonderful. That's probably the most valuable thing. And then it's also used as an outlet for people just to connect with other people. It's used for political arguments. I follow um, animal rights and things to do with animals and women's rights. And we all, we all have little things that we're following on Twitter. We don't necessarily, all, we don't follow all the same things. I'm sure that there are people interested in Thoroughbred horse racing have their own little, you know, interest in Twitter. So it's very, it's very different, maybe even antithetical to writing a, a book, where you spend a lot of time and put hours and hours and days and weeks and months into an effort that's like a coherent, single effort. The tweets are just like random thoughts, like butterflies or hornets kind of just going out and you get some response and then the next day comes and a new thing comes along. And it's always sort of maybe also to change the metaphor, it's like a river that's always going and the things in the river of interest. So that's what I like about Twitter. It represents this egalitarian multi, the multiplicity of perspectives. I wouldn't say it has had any effect whatsoever on my actual writing.